Hi right, guys, may I present to you, Derek goes to Scotland. It was just a casual eight hour drive to Scotland, including a nice little stop for some bacon, egg, sausage, bread and ash browns. They still have a proper calf at Keel Services. It was the fuel crisis, but they panicked less up north, so we got some fuel too, luckily. This is a rainbow. Driving meant we could take some English comforts, like Marmite and Earl Grey tea. The time flew by, and before you knew it, we was in another country, Scotland. Hi oh, everyone, so... We just made it to the crib, didn't we? Nice view behind me, abandoned tennis courts, little playground, and there is a lock. And that's what they say in Scotland for like, lake or pond or whatever. Lovely view, very peaceful as well. Not many cars like you get down south. So yeah, good start. And we've got our own private sauna. Let me show you. This will help you through the harsh Scotch winters. Nice. On our first full day, we added to Inver's Snade, which is by a very famous lock. You have to travel down this incredibly long dead end road, but it was quite scenic, weren't it? Hi everyone, I'm here at Loch Lomond, which is one of the most famous locks in Scotland. And we've come down one of the longest dead end roads in the world. So, let's we'll see what it's like. This is a rainbow. They also put this waterfall here to fill up the lock with water when it's running a bit low. Very nice. Next, we set off along the narrow and dangerous path by the bonny banks of Loch Lomond to visit the cave of Rob Roy. Or as some people say, Rob Roy's cave. So guys, we've made it down the extremely treacherous path to Rob Roy's cave. Now, this is the cave where Rob Roy hid for many days. Derek, who is Rob Roy? Uh, was he a footballer or something? Hi guys, so today you find me at Loch Fine. Look at that. And we've come to a very special place. The OG Oyster bar. Very nice. Let's see what grub we can get. So since we're at an oyster bar, we had to get some oysters, didn't we? Cheers. Delicious. I also had some scampi to take away the taste of those oysters. <laughs> So, on whatever day it just said, we went to visit the grave of Rob Roy, or as some people call it, Rob Roy's grave. It's at this little church, or kirk as they call it in Scotland, and it was in a village called Balcoida. Turns out, Rob Roy was a Highland outlaw, often referred to as the Scottish Robin Hood. 
Rest in peace, mate. So now, we've seen his cave and we've seen his grave. That'll do. We also had a short, yet horrifically up here like, to this amazing viewpoint overlooking the village and another lock. Bloody exhausting though. Hi everyone. So, today we've come to the Riverside Museum because, let me tell you, the weather's been terrible so we thought we'd do something inside today and we'll see what they've got. And remember, Riverside, my They've got trains. They've got a bus. And they've got Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And here we are on an old subway train. We then headed to this little boat they have out the back of the museum. So next to the museum is this ship, which has very tall masts, and that's why they call it the Tall Ship. guys so it's my last day here in it and tonight we're going to a coloured sailor Kaylee that's it spelt very odd and well it should be a good laugh in it we've moved to this hotel for the last night and I really do hope you've enjoyed this little vlog I'll show you a bit of the Kaylee, but I'm just going to have fun, let me air down. No filming yeah, tonight, really. And, well, hopefully I'll see you back home. See ya. Well guys, I made it back, didn't I? What a lovely trip that was. I hope you enjoyed it. So, what did I take away from my time in Scotland? This app. And some of this. Now, do yourself a favour and try this stuff. It is incredible. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye-bye.